I think all music, learning music, learning to play an instrument, there's an apprenticeship quality to it. And it's learned by doing, and it's taught by doing. And uh, we're going to help these kids in a very specific aspect of music making, which is ensemble orchestral playing. In a lesson, you, can't, you can say, oh, you need to listen to the oboe, you need to listen to the clarinet here. But uh, if you don't have the sound of that instrument to match, then it, it, the comment really doesn't have any uh, context. So this is where we can say, oh, now do you hear what I was talking about in the lesson? There's the oboe, and they're a little bit high on that note, so you need to anticipate that and so forth. Well, there's also pressure on me because in these rehearsals, we're expected as yellow players to play the solos the first time. So I have students, my students on either side of me listening to me play the solos. So I have to make sure I do all the things that I insist that they do in their lessons. I've been so lucky this year to be working with Mary Pauline. And uh, together we've been working on the Dvorak New World now for quite some time um, in our private lessons. And it's just a real treat uh, to be together now and to get to play this concert together. It feels like there's more of a connection when you're sitting right there. And they also can lean over and tell you something to work on when you're playing. We have 12 LO members that are coaching sectionals for us. So each individual section is working with um, an LO member and they're learning a lot about their own specific parts. And I think that's gonna help a lot too. I've always looked up to the symphony orchestra uh, as a violinist and I always said, I wanna be in that orchestra. And now um, playing alongside the LO, I'm able to look uh, next, right next to me and say, I wanna be here one day. I wanna be a professional violinist or play in an orchestra. One, two, three. I wish I had had it when I was growing up and learning to um, be an orchestral musician. To actually be able to sit side by side with them, it's, it's, quite, it's quite a privilege. It's not just an experience, it's really a privilege. That was good, I like that. All that has been possible because of the generous support of the Geens Foundation and the Kentucky Center. You know, we're very lucky that we have those two powerful forces in music in our community that believe in education and, and great, rich experiences for our kids in the community. As a native Louisvillian, it's my obligation to give back to the community that has given so much to me. And I think that the Side by Side concert is one way of doing that.